Hey, how's it going? So I finally have the time to give you an answer to that offset question on my print that I posted. And I'm going to go over that here. So if you can snap this out using actual measurements on, say, drywall, floor, the wall, whatever, you can actually get a physical measurement. The alternative is learn trigonometry, also possible. So I did do actual numbers here. This is three foot six off the floor. Another three inches up gives you the gives you the top finish and the bottom finish. And then as it showed, 3 8 MDO, 5 8 drywall gives you a one inch offset. Now to get the actual framing number, as you can see, this is I offset this an inch. But when you measure this, I need a little bit more tape here. You get an inch and an eighth. Oops. Now, so here's the same angle, but with a two inch offset. And you see I have it written down there. So there's your two inch offset. But when you measure the vertical for your framing number, you're getting almost set, almost an inch and a quarter. Or sorry, two and a quarter. Or an extra quarter inch is essentially what it comes up being. Now, if you have a really sharp angle, likewise, that's going to change your framing number. So you can't just go a one inch offset and call it good. You actually have to snap it out. And when you do, in this case, you get about an inch and a half. Now, of course, this is a marker. It's a little thicker, harder to draw. Snap line would be a lot more accurate. So this is a little advanced trick I learned a long time ago when I was an apprentice from a really good journeyman I worked with. I hope it helps you. If you have another way of doing it, um, I'm always welcome for, for positive criticism, uh, questions or concerns, or, or let's all learn together. Have a good day.